guys and welcome back to another showcase video so as you know I'm on the PTR for patch 2.4 so that means that everything and anything we talk about can be changed before it hits live server so please keep that in mind um, so in this showcase video we're looking at the brand new fist weapon for the monk um, it's the Kiroshiro's blade right here and also in conjunction the uh, Pintle's pride as well which goes synergize it with it as well uh, so these are the brand new weapon and this is what it looks like it's pretty cool in my opinion I actually I really like the transmog for it um, it's actually one of my favorite ones because it actually really looks cool it has wings it has sharp blades and it looks like an owl kind of Maybe, may, may, I don't know, it looks Egyptian, uh, but it looks really cool. Um, anyway, so let's take a look at what it does. So this is the Kirishiro's Blade. Um, so it will increase the Wave of Light by 150%. And also when the initial impact of Wave of Light hits three or fewer enemies, the damage will be increased by an X amount. Uh, so the minimum you can get is 200, the maximum is 250, okay? Uh, so what that means is, let's take an example right here. here. Um, so you see that bell that drops when I hit wave of light right there so the initial bell that drops has to hit three or fewer enemies to get that secondary buff um, so if that bell hits more than three enemies then you won't get that secondary buff which is kind of sad so you have to play it so that you can pretty much have to play a range kind of uh, game where you hold shift and you're far away and you just hit your mouse button or whatever it is and you get that constantly so you, you pretty much just hit zero sometimes you hit one or two and then you get the secondary buff so that's how that damage increase is uh be effective um so the secondary weapon we're looking at is the pintle sprite which like i said synergizes with the kirishiro's blade uh because it also affects what well, wave of light affects it as well uh so what it does is that it will slow enemies by 80 percent for three seconds and deals 100 and well, sorry, 125 to 150. Now, this is really great because since we're playing a, a pretty much range game uh, and we want to use our uh, Bane of the Trap, it synergizes with that as well because it will put a, a slow debuff on the mobs that are far away because uh, with the Bane of Trap, it's only up to 15 yards. So the secondary... Uh, secondary affix to the Bane of Trap won't be active at all um, unless, you know, things are... 15 yards and then you well it, it won't be active at all period um, so this is why this is really great so if you're using the wave of light um, with Bane of Trap this is a must for it okay and also not only that but this synergizes with the Sal's sorry I can't pronounce this properly Sal's uh, Crin's Gaze right here where I think it's been redesigned kind of like where the suck the affix where it says increases wave of light by uh, what Oh, sorry, wave of light damage by X amount. Uh, so the min is 125, the max is 150. I think that's brand new there. I'm not sure. I haven't. I, I don't think that was ever there before. But that that's something new for patch 2.4. So it synergizes with that as well because it increases your wave of light damage as well. And also, if you have incense of the Grand Temple, which is really great because everything now synergizes. Like you have four items that synergizes with each other. I know I keep saying synergize, uh, but it increases your wave of light damage and also reduces the spirit cost of wave of light by X amount. So 40 to 50 percent. That's really good. That's always been there. Uh, so. Let's go have an example of what this can do or how it should work anyways. Um, so I'm pretty much using a temporary build, a modification of the uh, fire wave of light build where it's been nerfed because of uh, Legacy of Nightmare has been totally nerfed, but it's still viable. It's just not as great. We're going to be using uh, pretty much full Inner Mantra and the uh, Endless Walk uh, bonuses, which is cool. That's what we're going to use. And we're using the Obsidian uh, Ring of the Zodiac with all conjunction of this. So we're going to equip this on. I already have uh, Kiroshiro's Blade in uh, the Kanai Cube. And I actually have the Crudus Boots in the Kanai Cube as well. But because um, there is a little bug with the uh, Crudus Boots inside the Kanai Cube with all the six piece set of Inner Mantra, I, we can actually can't see all full 10 version of the. Um, Mystic Ally, but but we still get that bonus anyway. So let's go have a look around. Let's see if we have anything to kill, and then I'll show you how it works. It's pretty much works like the 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 Legacy of Nightmare Wave of Light build. Oh my God, there's no mobs. What the hell, man? I'm so unlucky. Oh, there it is. Okay, so pretty much your Mystic Ally is gonna tank for you, and then you go here, and you spam. See, that's all you do. That's all you do. That's all you do. That's all you do. And if there was like, I think, 10 Mystic Ally, that would be awesome. 
because then they would be tanking everything for you and that would be really cool and you just spam your wave of light it could be any you know this build itself it could be any wave of light if you want it to be it could be you know the lightning one the fire one uh, the holy one or even the one that stuns you see all your mystic ally actually tanks for you that's cool and then you just stay behind and you just spam that and that's how that works and they, that's pretty much it for this showcase video. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you like this video and helps you out kind of, then a thumbs up would definitely be appreciated because it really does help me out. Um, and if you have any questions or comments, please leave them down below. If you're interested in this build itself, let me know. And don't forget to press subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.